Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball Channel, and welcome back to another episode in the Juice Road to the Show series here on MLB The Show 23. We continue in Double A still here, but we are looking pretty good. I think we're into June now. We might even be able to finish up June in this episode. I don't know how far into the month we are. We might be a couple weeks in. But we are looking pretty good as both a closing pitcher and as a shortstop. Or are we a shortstop? I think we're a shortstop. That <laughs> tells you how much I've been paying attention. But our contact versus... Uh, or our, not our contact, that's the hitting sets. Our hits per nine is what I wanted to say. Is looking very, very good. Our walks per nine is growing. Our velocity is growing. All of our fielding slash like arm strength stuff is growing. We're looking pretty good. Our stats, we've got 14 saves, two blown saves. You guys know the BS that occurred in the last episode. I'm still not a little, I'm not over that fully, but whatever, we move on. We have a 1.57 ERA. And if we go to our hitting stats, five home runs, 21 RBIs in uh, 55 at-bats, hitting 473, slugging 891, an OPS of 1.364, and we have a war of 0.6. So I'd say we are doing a fantastic job so far. We are the second closing pitcher in the organization behind Tanner Rainey, who is in AAA. So they don't have a major league closer right now. I'd assume they're using Ronaldo Lopez. The Nationals, maybe Sean Doolittle. I don't know. I don't know who they're using as their closing pitcher. They're going to have to use us <laughs> pretty soon. But if we go to... Uh, oh, we can't go to the shortstop spots because we are not officially shortstop. So I wasn't sure if they would play us in there. But there's also... If we go to the awards and then the all-star voting, we are ranked in the top half of all-star closing pitchers. And we are ranked in the top half of all-star shortstops for double A. So we are getting close to the all-star game. And we are looking pretty good to be a part of it, which is awesome. But we've got to play our next game. Yeah, we are only a couple weeks left to go in the month of June. And then we get to July, which is where the All-Star stuff for AA is. So that is uh, that is all good. But we're going to do... Let's do the training facility, maybe? Uh, let's do the box jumps. Play the auto trainer thing. And let's do some box jumps here. Oh, look at the boy. Look at the boy hit the box jumps. I'm an athletic freak. I'm a I'm a genetic jackhammer. Look at them boy. Just checking in, Juice. How are you feeling about your situation with the or Nationals organization? Ooh. So this is our first little introduction into possibly moving on from team. Well, I don't really have a problem with the the organization right now. I'm playing a good amount of times. I'm 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 doing okay. I don't think I have any complaints. It's my job to get you what you want, Juice. Tell me anything that isn't ideal. Anytime we can look at how we might be able to work to change going forward. I added a few words in there. <laughs> okay, but I'm good for now. I'm not sure about the two-way player. I just never saw myself at the Nationals. I'm okay for now. I'll be checking in periodically to make sure you stay happy. You got a great future ahead, Juice. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. We are coming in in a save sitch. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're Harrisburg. That's right. <laughs> I forgot for a second what team we were. We are coming in for a save situation with a runner on second. Yikes. Okay. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Let's go see if we can get it. All right. It's a little bit of a soggy one tonight, but we go bottom 10. Nobody out. The ghost runner is on second. And he's the player at the plate, Brady Whalen, is staring at some nice pitches. And he gets called strike three. He got caught swanging. And that's the first out of the inning on three straight strikes. But now we go to the next batter and we throw a ball there. So that's not ideal. We go to the cutter. The cutter goes up the middle. That's unfortunate. That is an earned run. I don't think for us because we didn't inherit the run. Although, I don't know how the ghost runner works in the extras. That might count as an earned run for us. I'm honestly not sure how the ghost runner affects the like a closing pitcher. Interesting. I never thought about that. I guess we'll find out because I, I remember how many earned runs we had. I think we had four earned runs that we've given up so far in, the, in our career. So if we have five, then we'll know that the ghost runner counted. But now we just got to pitch for the double play. We have a nice cushion given to us by our team. 
So we just got to play for the double play or strike three called. I cannot believe it. That's crazy. How do you call that strike three? That was a horrible strike. That wasn't even a strike. I'd be heated if that was called strike three on me. Luckily, it wasn't. It was called in my favor. And now we just have to maybe strike out the side. Let's see if we can get Sean Roby swinging on the cutter. He did swing on the cutter, but he made contact with it. So we'll go with the curveball. The curveball is our strikeout pitch. Oh, and I thought it was about to continue to be our strikeout pitch. That was closer to the, to the strike zone than the other strike when we got the uh, Luis Matos out. That was closer of a strike than that pitch was. We'll throw some gas down low, see how he deals with it. He makes contact with it. Roby is making me work for this one. He is making me work for this final out. He still makes contact. Come on, Roby. Just give it up. You're a 48-year-old double-A player. Just give up your, your dreams. That could be a play, and that's the game. Senators win. Thanks to me. The save has been acquired. That was a tough spot to be put into. I will say that. And it looks like we didn't get counted for an earned run there, so that is good. You love to see it. Are we going to be coming in to hit, or are we going to be pitching? I think we're going to be hitting today. Yes, we are. We are going to be on deck. All right, hitting 473. Now, this is the first time I have played this game, or at least the road to the show, since the last episode. And that's been a few, a few days since I recorded that. So this is going to be a little bit of a rough start here, I would assume, unless I can just pop off with one quick home run, or maybe not, maybe just a little grounder to shortstop, unless I can beat it out. The speed is not there just yet. Maybe in a few seasons, the speed will get there. We sign a big shoe deal or something. Runner on first and second, top of the third. 0-0 zero, zero game, one out. Oh, why did I, why, why? He's been throwing curveballs to me all day. And then of course, the next time he comes up, the first pitch is a fastball. I was not sitting fastball. I pulled the PCI way too low. They give me bases loaded. They really want me to get an RBI. They give me bases loaded, two outs. Don't swing at that. Good take, good take, good eye, good eye. I'm hitting 474 with runners in scoring position. I want to increase those numbers by getting at least two runners across here, but I will not do that. End of the inning. Can of corn for the shortstop. Absolutely outraged that I didn't I didn't hit a, at least a single into the outfield or something. But I told you. I told you that this was going to be a rough first game for me because I haven't played Road to the Show in a minute. And I don't know if I'm going to get the arm there. That was a close play, but he beats out the throw. 0 for 3. Good God in heaven. Drive in all runners for an equipment pack. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'll do contact swing to drive in a run. That seems like I can do something like that. 2-1 to one game. Runners on first and second. And that's going to be a contact swing, but not driving in the run. It's going to be a double play to end the inning. Wow, a very horrible first game of the episode. We've got a double play opportunity here. Oh, zero steal for the guy on first? Yikes. <laughs> He's not going to be much of a threat then. That's going to be to me, so we have a chance to start the double play. There it is, a little toss underhand. Got the double play. Two outs. You love to see it. And now Brady. Brady's the one who had the single earlier who beat out the throw. Brady Whalen. And that's going to be right to me for a double play. Another underhand. Boom. Got him. So they did tie the game, unfortunately. But that's back-to-back -back double plays. And now we go with nobody on. Top of the ninth. One out. We could change this game with one swing. Come on, Juice. We can do it. We can change this game with one freaking swing. I'm swinging too early. This guy's got no speed on any of his pitches. 95 is the fastest he can hit. And he's throwing two sliders that are in the 80s. Oh my god, I was so early. The curveball, 74 miles an hour. You've got to be kidding me, bro. You're killing me softly. That's crazy. Another double play opportunity, though. Bottom of the ninth. That's going to be to me. All of these have been to me. 
And that's gonna actually make me have to throw it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna underneath it or underhand it. But luckily we get out of the inning, no damage done, and we have a chance to walk it off? No. Actually not walk it off, we have a chance to hit again, but we did not. We went 0 for 5. 0 for 5 in the first game, hitting. That is gross. That's very, very gross, if you didn't know. And now we come in to pitch again. Nice little mix of both. Mix? Another save situation. Five to four ball game, bottom nine. We'll go with the Vulcan. I love a good Vulcan change. And that is gonna be back to me, but I missed the play. Second baseman's got it, and he's safe. He beat the throw, what are we doing, second baseman? Be faster. But we do have a double play opportunity now. So we can try to work for that, or maybe even a strikeout. I'll take either, as long as it's now all beautifully placed on the Vulcan. Here comes the curveball. He sends that to left field, but that should be easily caught, and it will be. And now we sit prime, prime real estate here for a double play. Clint Coulter, I hardly know her, is the last man that we hopefully have to face as we ground him into a double play. I'm speaking into existence, hoping it happens. Here comes the cutter. Oh, he's going right past it. He was not sitting on a 94 cutter, that is for sure. Here comes the curveball. He just tips it off. Tip. Unbelievable. All right, give him the gas. Give him the gas. He swung. He swung. He didn't swing. <sighs> Unbelievable. How did he not swing? There's the double play. No, the shortstop screwed me. It's worse than me out there. Oh, no. No wonder I play both shortstop and closing pitcher because I'm the best player in both positions. Unbelievable. And now Brady's up. And that's called ball? Are you kidding me, Ump? Oh, what are these calls? It's the fixes in. It's a conspiracy. I can smell it. He's hitting 311 with runners in scoring position, and he will grow that average because he's just gotten the tying run, and I've blown a save. I cannot believe this is my third blown save, and they're going to walk it off. Throw it home. Tag him. Thank God they tagged him. I would have got the loss. Unbelievable. I've just blown a save here, and I've just blown the loss. I've lost the game. I got my first loss of my career against the flying squirrels the flying squirrels i take an l wow my first loss of my career that is unbelievable i cannot believe that actually happened if we're being truthful <sighs> wow all right off to a rough start this episode. This has not gone the way that I wanted it to go. I will say that. I was hoping we'd come in here, new episode, hit a couple bombs, strike out a couple fools, get some Ws, get some saves, and move on towards the All-Star game. But unfortunately, we are hitting a bump in the road. I cannot locate pitches. I've lost a game. Unbelievable. And they walked me off, too. It's not even like we went into it tied and then they, they walked it off in the next inning after I got pulled or something. No, I was the reason why we lost. Unbelievable. Absolutely unfreaking believable. These stupid flying squirrels. Ugh. Come on, Juice. Locate the Vulcan change. What are we doing here? This is an A ball. Get it together. Oh my God, Juice. If you don't locate your freaking pitches, I'm gonna come into that screen and punch you in the face. Come on, kid. Get it together. Here comes the cutter. And the cutter's blown right by him. Struck out, swanging. And he is down, two down, bottom nine. Matos comes up. Or Matos, I don't know how he pronounces it. But he's coming up. We struck him out looking last time we played him. A couple of uh, games ago. We'll go with the cutter here. Seems like nobody's been ready for the cutter. And that's beautifully placed. Absolutely beautiful. 
We'll go cut her up high in a way. This is could be a weird spot for it, but maybe he would go chasing, I, I thought maybe. You know what, we're gonna freeze him. We're gonna go fastball, high and inside. He's not gonna be able to do it. He stood right by it. That's a good eye right there. But he got caught with the fastball back to back. He got caught swinging. And that is another win for the Senators and a save for me. That's number 16 on the year. Should be 17. I shouldn't have blew that. I've, I've blown three saves. What am I doing? I'm a joke. I'm a disgrace. We come in for another save opportunity. This has been a lot of save opportunities. I guess they saw me in the field and they were like, uh-uh, we don't want you out there again. This time we have a three cushion lead. Love to see it. Here comes the Vulcan. Oh, he is bloody even swinging at there. <laughs> that well, You weren't even close to that. I wish the this game had, like, back in uh, MVP Baseball 04 and 05 and stuff, they had uh, a replay, like a little pitch replay of the most recent pitch when you were swinging on it and you missed it, and it would show you how close you were <laughs> instead of having this little feedback thing here to actually be like a, a, a replay thing of the swing, and it would show you how close or not you were, and it was, it was always pretty funny to see if you had, like, a really bad swing, see how far you were. Uh, from the baseball and that that's what I needed for that guy because he was uh, really far away from that Unfortunately while I was telling that well-developed story We've gotten into a double play situation get him out game over back-to-back -back saves. I'm getting hot again I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. It's skyline time. That's another save All right, are we finally done with the squirrels? Can we be done with them, please? Thank you finally going back to the clubhouse we're done with the flying squirrels, the flying BS. Okay, let's get done with this. Still a 54 overall, but we're going to move to the, let's do the bullpen because I have been not happy with my stuff. So let's go hits per nine and we will uh, auto train that playing on the iPhone there. And now we play Altoona. Oh, we got a talking to. Our staff has given up more hits this season than most. Let's buckle down on that. So we get a performance gain for our hits per nine. And we're starting this game against Tamar Johnson over on the other side of the, the Altoona squad. We're hitting third, playing shortstop. The starting pitcher for our team is one and six. Good God. <laughs> Let's play this game. Back at home for the first time in this episode. Had a long road stretch against the Flying Squirrels. Let's see if we can turn it up here. First game against these boys, the Pittsburgh Pirates affiliate, Altoona. I kind of wish I would have got drafted by Altoona, or played for Altoona, drafted by the Pirates. Oh, well, we got to time up these swings better. We are early on everything. These double-A pitchers are not major league pitchers. That is for sure. They are not throwing gas on every pitch. Oh, but I'm taking that for a ride. That's going to get past everybody into the left center gap. That's a double right off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. That's a beautiful way to get back on track. A nice two out double into the left center gap. Get me back on track. Ninth double of the year. And now Will Frizzle steps up. I wonder if he married uh, Miss Frizzle. That's going to be a bunt. You laid down a bunt? What is this, 1995? A bunt with two outs. Interesting strategy, but whatever. We lead, or no, we're down. Two to nothing. Bottom of the third. Runner on first, one out. Come on, Juice. Swing for the fences. I went for the power swing on that one, but as you can tell, I was early. I wonder what would have happened if I wasn't early. It probably would have been a pretty nice base hit. I don't think it would have been a home run or anything. Come on, Juice. Time it up. Square it up. Send it over the moon. Oh, that was not the PCI placement that I wanted, but oh, I thought it might have dropped. I even had good timing on that, too. The PCI placement was not it. And now we are into the field for the first time in this game. Still down 2-0. Top of the fourth. Runner on second. Two outs. This is going to be hit to me to throw to first. Put some power on that. Got him out. Inning over. Good job. You love to see it. 
Back in the infield again. Top five this time. Nobody on base. And that's coming straight to me. Alligator. And got him. Boom. Inning over again. Back-to-back -back innings where I ended. I like it. And now we're up again. We got runners on first and second. This could be a chance for me to take the lead. One swing of the bat can change the complexion of this ball game. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to ground into a double play to end. Oh, they don't throw it too. Okay, I guess that's good because I advanced the runners. Maybe we can do something with it. Yeah, this team, this team didn't. This team sucks. <laughs> we didn't do anything with it. I advanced the runners, and we just we just go down the next batter. So, still down two nothing. Another double play opportunity here, and that is going to be one two, inning over. Back up to hit. Yes, we are. We are one for three. We suck so much in today's episode. It's embarrassing. I'm sorry you've had to watch this. That was a really late swing. Oh, I guess they called it good timing. I thought I was late on that one. That's what it felt like, at least. Top eight. Man, this team sucks, man. Either just just put me in AAA. I feel like I've performed okay this episode notwithstanding. I feel like I've played good enough to to move up to AAA. I want to be, I want to be moving on. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Top of the ninth. Right, am I going to get a chance in the bottom of the ninth, or is it just going to be game over? I don't know. Another double play opportunity. I'm not going to get there. That's well, You took a long time to get there, short or second baseman. What are we doing? Oh, we don't even get a chance to go in the ninth. One for four with a double, and that was my first hit. Tamar Johnson hit a, hit a home run in that game. I can't compete with that. <laughs> I've gotten, what, one hit in this entire episode, and it was that double? End the inning without allowing a run. End the inning without allowing more than one hit or a run. Uh, give me the equipment pack. We gotta go balls to the walls. Whew, let's do this. It's a tie ball game. I don't know why they bring me in for these kind of situations. I'm not a, a relief pitcher. I'm a closer. I come in to close the games, get saves. I don't come in to get you through the the inning to move on to the next one. I'm not a bridge. I'm either the the destination or I'm hitting in the lineup. That's it. <laughs> That's a big cutter up high in the zone. Couldn't hit it. The cutter is quickly becoming my strikeout pitch. I thought it was either the curveball or the Vulcan change, but the cutter is coming in very handy because it's so fast. I throw it like 95, 96 sometimes, so the cutter is uh, hard to handle at that speed, especially for double A. Maybe in the majors it's a little bit easier for guys to, to square up because they're used to it. But in double A, and I'm assuming also in triple A to an extent, it's going to be a, a very useful strikeout pitch most of the time. Although not on that occasion. We'll throw the heat. We'll throw the high heat here, the stinky cheese. And he got it. He took the bait, touched the stinky cheese. He's got the cheese touch. And he goes down, not technically swinging, but strike three nonetheless. Stares at a fastball right down Main Street. Should have hit that. But he wasn't sitting on it, to be fair. We'll throw another fastball, see how he deals this. And he swings into right field. It's going to go nowhere. Inning over. Unfortunately, it's not a win or a save. But we got the equipment pack, so that's awesome. I'll take it. And we're bringing us back in for the 10th? Come on, my dog. I don't got that much stamina. <laughs> I'm not a starter out. Did I just let up a... First pitch I threw in the 10th, and it's a walk-off, two-run home run. Not a walk-off. It's a two-run home run. I allow two runs. I'm going to get the loss. So that's going to be two losses in today's episode. Both BS. Like, what are we doing here? Why are you putting your closing pitcher in the ninth inning or the 10th inning when there's not a save going on? Who does that? A bad organization. That's who does that. God, what are we doing here, guys? I'm not a I'm not a relief pitcher. I don't come in to get you through the inning. I come in to save games. I understand that you you might think, oh, he's our closer. He can he can do this when we're up. Why can't he do it when we're tied? He he should be able to do it. But that's not my specialty. 
I don't come in here to keep things tied. I come, I come in here to, to close the door when we're winning. That's it. That's, that's my job description, literally. I've been pitching a lot in this episode, too. This has been a pitch-heavy episode. I've only had, like, two different games where I've been either on the field or, or at the plate. I can't believe the first pitch I threw in the 10th inning is literally a home run. Unbelievable. We're not doing too well against Lolo Sanchez. He's drawn it full, and he will stare at the fastball high and outside. Big strike two, or big uh, out number two. Now Connor Scott steps up. Big lanky white boy. And we'll send the Vulcan change. Oh, that Vulcan change is nasty. That Vulcan change certainly is a little dirty. He gets the, the curveball and fouls that off as well. Here comes the cutter. He handles it. Handles it fairly well. Good for him. Let's see if we can freeze him. We froze everybody else. He sends that to center field. That's going to be the end of the inning. I cannot believe that we're going to lose this game, though, because there's no way our team is going to be able to rally for two runs. Yeah, we lost. I figured that's what it was, and they give me the loss again. No surprise, because I, I obviously cost the, cost us the game. I, I threw the pitch that was the home run, so... Unfreaking believable. Another chance in this one to pitch. I am tired of pitching, to be honest with you. I just want to swing the baseball bat. Let me swing it here. We're winning by two. End the inning without allowing a run. End the inning without allowing a run and record at least one strikeout. I think I can do that. Give me those program stars. Oh, now we're going up against Tamar. We haven't played Tamar at all. He's never been up when we've been up. And uh, that is why we don't play against him. That was almost off the wall for at least a double, maybe a triple, depending on how bad the center fielder hits the wall. That's called for a ball? Come on, umpire, man. I don't get any calls. I know I got the, the call early in the episode that was called strike three, but that's a rarity. I don't get any calls. Most of the time, most of the time it's just a ball. It's called a ball when it's clearly a strike. This umpire's strike zone is very tiny, I guess. That's the strikeout that we needed. That gives us the program stars if we end up winning this game. We're saving this game. We've earned the program stars, which I still don't know what the program stars do, if I'm being totally honest. I don't know if... The, can I, like, add them to my stats, make them better? I have no idea. I don't know what the program stars do. I don't know if they matter, but I've, I've gotten a few. I've probably gotten about 12 to 15 program stars in this series so far. Here comes the cutter 2-1. Stares at it. All right, Juice. Make the final pitch. Get us out of this game. Get another save. There's the strikeout. There's the program stars. And there's the save. We win 8-3. No, we win 8-6. That's what I wanted to say. Ugh, this has been a rough episode, but at least we are getting some saves. I know we've taken a few losses that have been kind of sucky. But we are getting some pretty big save opportunities here. And now we're going to be hitting. That's what I want. I want to be hitting. I've pitched a whole heck of a lot tonight. I want to be hitting the baseball. That's going to be the first base. He's going to choose to throw it off the bag. You suck, you big piece of trash. Ugh, whatever. Error on the third baseman. He should have just stepped on the bag, at least get one. Now we're in a situation where there's runners on first and second. Nobody out, and still we got a double play. And now there's just a runner on third, two outs. Because I'm here, and I made a good play. Man, we're hitting 422. Our average has dropped in this episode again. I feel like the past couple episodes, our average has just sunk. It was like we were hitting like 530 or something at one point in this series. Now we're just hitting garbage. I mean, yeah, 422 is good or whatever we're hitting. Yeah, 422, that's good. But I want to be hitting like 600. I want to be slapping the ball. But apparently, I'm not good enough to do that. That's a big base hit. Slider in the middle of the plate. Good timing, good PCI placement right up the middle. 
So we lead us we get a single first at bat of the day. I'm happy with that. But TJ White is more than likely going to either strike out or ground out or something or pop out to right field unless that's over the wall. TJ White. Oh, I thought he hit a homer. I thought he hit a dong, but he didn't. Now another two double play opportunity with runners on first and second. He will send that to me. I'll field it and turn the camera. <laughs> Got him double play, two outs. Our relationship is going up with Abbott, who I can only assume is the second baseman. I'm not 100% sure. Give me that baseball. There it is. Alligator. And God, that's going to be a light throw. Ooh, that was close. Thought I almost made an error. That would have been just my luck. Two ounce. First and second. Come on, Juice. You got a single already. Oh, my God. That slider up in the zone. I wanted to smack it. I really, really, really wanted to smack it. But I did not pull the PCI because I thought it would drop a little bit lower where I didn't need to pull the PCI. And that's going to be, thank God, that went foul. <sighs> Come on, Juice, figure it out. You don't suck this much. I'm swinging at garbage. Oh, that's a big boy hit. Go over the center fielder. Yes, sir. Extra bases, two RBIs, a double. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. A single and double today. Oh, oh man. The one dude's hype. I don't know who that was, but he was he was excited that I hit that double. Two RBIs. That was a power swing, by the way. And now it's a full count to TJ White with me on second. He's going to ground that to third. We're just going to move right past. No, I'm not going to stay, coach. I'm just going to go to third. doesn't matter. He's not going to be out the throw. What does not matter? Back in the field. They really have me play in the field a lot. I should have just been DH. <laughs> Just make me a DH. I just want to hit. I don't necessarily care about fielding, and maybe that shows because I just made an error. Wow. That's what, my second error of my career? I'm having a bad episode. I've lost two games in this episode. I've blown saves. I've hit, ha had poor performances at the plate, and now I'm making errors in the field? What is going on? I'm just not focused. I don't know what's happening here. I don't like it though. A double, a single, two RBIs. If we can hit a triple here, that'd be awesome. Oh baby, that felt good off the bat. That felt good off the bat. That's gonna be another double. Two doubles and a single. Give me the biggie bag. Oh, I'm hitting good in this one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm hitting real good. 3-1 count to TJ White. Just take the walk. Then we got runners on first and second with two outs. We have a chance to add even more runs to this game. Uh, he's not going to take the walk. He's going to send that into the gap, and it's going to be caught by the right fielder inning over. Yay. We are winning 7 to nothing. We don't ever put up this many runs. I don't know what to do with my hands. That's going to be to me. I'll go to first base. And we will hit him. Inning over. Let me hit the plate again. I'm hot. There we go. Nobody on. Bottom seven. All right, Juice. You've shown what you can do with runners on base. What can you do when there's nobody on base? I can do nothing. That was good PCI placement, good timing, and that's what I get out of that? Unbelievable. The perfect game goes away. And now we're back at the field. Malcolm Nunez grounds that to me, and without making an error, get the play. I think that might have been my final at bat. Yep, it was. That sucks. Three for four on the day. We are uh, done with that series as well against Altoona. I was able to grab a couple RBIs. I was able to grab two doubles. Boost the average a little bit, slightly. So I'll take it. We should be into the month of June now. Let me take a look at the calendar. Uh, I mean the month of July. That's what I meant. And the AA All-Star game is right around the corner. The AA All-Star game is probably next episode. Now that I think about it, there's only about a week left to go in the, in the uh, 
the season before the All-Star game. Let me take a look at the awards again or the All-Star voting again. I'm probably I'm 0 for 3. Ugh, that's so gross. So gross. I've pitched 29 and two thirds innings, 35 strikeouts, which is second most in the top half. Jacob Hernandez has the most. I have a 212 ERA, which is just gross. A nine, a point nine eight whip, and I'm tied with Demarcus Evans, who's on the freaking IL. I'm tied in votes for him, <laughs> with him. What about shortstops? I am second, so I am gonna make the All Star game. I'm not gonna start. Because Ryan Fitzgerald has 260 at-bats because he's an actual starting shortstop. <laughs> I'm not going to make the... V and he has crazy amount of votes over me. Look at the amount of votes. He's got 300,000 votes. The next highest is me at 190. This man's killing the game. We did move our average up to 441, though, so that's good. We're hitting the best out of every shortstop. But I'm not going to start, unfortunately. But I am going to make the team all-star team. So next episode will be all-star festivities. Whether that's however much I play. I don't know how much I'll get in. I'll probably get in as a, like a bench guy coming off the bench. But our team sucks. Jackson Rutledge is one for seven. He's one and seven in his record. That's gross. I really, 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 really want to get called up. Am I worthy of that? You be the judge, I guess. I don't know. You be the judge. I mean, there's not really much of a difference between Tanner Rainey and me. Yeah, he's playing the majors, but I'm obviously younger, better potential. I'm not even the 40 man. They could just dump me and it wouldn't matter. <laughs> That's disrespectful. So here's my stats so far. We've moved our saves up to 18. We've blown three saves this year. Lost three games. <laughs> uh, we've had seven earned runs, two home runs allowed, five walks, 35 strikeouts. And then our hit or our hitting stats, we've had 68 at bats, 30 hits, five home runs, 23 RBIs. Got caught stealing one time. I grounded into a double play four times. Made three errors. Have a .9 WAR. Hmm. I don't really like these numbers. They should be a lot higher. They should be a lot higher than they are, but they are what they are. That is going to do it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Links are always down below in the description for the link to this playlist. So if you happen to have missed an episode, you can go back and watch it. And the links are also in there for my other channels. So if you like Madden content, if you like NBA 2K content, the links are down there to go check out the other channels. Other than that, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.